What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel guys. Holy crap. We got some sunlight today. You will not freaking believe it. I'm loving it. Uh, but if you saw the title of the video, yeah, we got issues. Um, first issue is with the wife's car. I loved it. Okay. So here's the thing. Uh, we were going out to, uh, to dinner the other night and like, this is the sec, well, I say the other night, it was last night. And, um, it was really warm it, you know it's been nice this is day two of, of the warmth and the sunshine well we went to turn the air on last night nothing nothing hot hot air blowing out of there now here's the deal um from you know working at the ford dealer um and ken working at the ford dealer i know these s550 cars have problems with the evaporators leaking well you know that's apparently what happened Luckily, I mean, the car is still under powertrain warranty, but it is out of factory warranty, um, being a 16 model. Uh, but I did buy a premium care, which a lot of the reason I bought that premium care was because of the evaporator. So the main thing that uh, worries me now is, obviously, Ken doesn't work at the dealer anymore, and this is going to have to get fixed. So, uh, yeah, and soon, because it's nice. Okay, guys, and the second issue has to do with obviously the coyote swap and as you can see there's these crazy bugs that have like appeared since the weather started one moment up uh, I can't even think because I got so much crap on my mind um, I got the car cleaned up and uh, running to put some gas in it was gonna do some filming and uh, hopefully get a few pulls because again it's sunshiny and beautiful outside and the car is exhibiting symptoms like it did before when we replaced the throttle body it's like you give it gas just like um it's not missing it's just like it'll like the power kind of comes and goes like i'll get in and it'll start to take off really bad and then you know just like you can feel it pull back it's like someone's zapping 50 horsepower or something so what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna run it out to, um, to, to Dover's uh, shop in town and we're gonna scan it. See what kind of codes we got. It may be a throttle body, it may be a bad O2 sensor. I don't know, um, but you know, now that, uh, now that the car is OBD2, you know, the, via the control pack, the Coyote Swap, all we gotta do is plug it up, see what's going on with this thing. So let's head out there, see what we got going on with the other car. up with this old turd. Coyotes, but there's Ken in there. You guys can't see it. 
Oh, it's acting up. Yeah. Okay, guys. Real quick. Uh, it's a 20% chance of rain today. So here's the thing. If that actually comes to fruition, uh, yeah, I'm screwed. But anyway, when I pulled up, I heard somebody's yelling about a slow car. And the only person I know around here with a slow car I heard that slow car out there. <laughs> hey, you made it loud so it couldn't slow slow. Well, yeah, I have to overcompensate. You know, the slowest car make your cars the loudest. That's true. That's true. <laughs> What's going on, big What's guy? What's up, dude? Uh, playing with the Toyota. Dude, so the Coyote is sick and... Coyote's sick? And, well, the Coyote... I'm picking on you The now. Coyote is acting up. I think it's a throttle body again, but we're going to scan it. And then, of course, the S550 is sick too, which you already know. The air conditioning took a crap. Common problem. Dude, I, I, I can't win for losing. I just, but you know. you got the premium care. I do have the premium care. That's the only thing but saving But you don't me. have somebody you know works at the dealership no more. That exactly. Care exactly. So, yeah, we're screwed. What are you doing here? What are you working You're on? putting AC system on this thing. This truck's been up north. Yeah, can you tell? Uh, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, we're going to see what's going on with this coyote, y'all. All right. So... Let us scan. Scan this 2014 Mustang GT, huh? 2014 Mustang GT. Let's see what you're saying. If you guys haven't seen the uh, the server area, that's where the control pack stuff and Dakota gauges and all that stuff is. And then of course you got your OBD2 there. I really feel like it's a throttle body, but it, it's doing that thing where it, the power comes in and out, irregardless of how much throttle I give it. Mm -hmm. Back off and back over. Which I may just have to break down and buy a brand new one from Ford. Call it good. Alright guys, so this is what we're looking at. Um, bank 1 sensor 1 and 2 oxygen sensor. That's kind of interesting because they should not, you wouldn't think, make it act like a throttle body. But one cool thing, guys, if you'll notice, the car scans as a 2014 Mustang. <laughs> cool stuff about Coyote Swaps. Ken, talk to us. Are these O2 sensors going to... Uh, oh, shoot a box. Are O2 sensors going to make it act like the throttle body's going out? Possibly. All right, so, Ken, you got them cleared. Yeah, drive down the road and get on a little bit and bring it back. Let's see what comes back. Any specific amount of distance? I mean, you could be you could be having throttle body issue and not throw the code yet. Yeah. Because right now, all you have is O2 sensor codes in there, but you've had them in there for a while, and uh, you really need to get those replaced. Okay. Because they're a common issue. Okay, so let's run up the road, see what kind of codes come back, and scan it again. All right, dude, be right back. All right. back on checking over everything let's go down here and actually see something instead of a reflection Systems detected too. Engine codes cleared. Transmission codes cleared. Sorry guys, I'm still getting switch ignition off. Let's code scan. Alright, 
So, guys, I'm sorry about the reflection. As you can see, maybe I didn't drive it enough. It's still scanning, but right now it's saying zero. Let's see what she says here. 73, 78. I only drove it a couple of miles. It's probably going to have to be uh, driven farther. Systems detected three no codes present. But the car's still acting up. So, we need to see what Ken has to say. The likelihood that I'm going to have to drive it more and get um, the codes to drop again is very good. But, um, again, yeah, maybe I didn't drive it far enough to get the codes to pop up. So, see what Ken says. Okay guys, so I was just talking with Ken and uh, he brought up a lot of really good points. Um, the first point being, um, we've got a truck engine with Mustang cams running an NMRA Coyote stock tune, which is still in the car from uh, when Carlos Sabrino had this control pack. Um, and obviously the O2 sensors, you know, like Ken was saying, oxygen sensors, uh, they are a wear item. You know, he's replaced a ton of them in f 150s so there's a good chance that those are bad the tune is not helping the long tubes are not helping with the oxygen sensors and then of course this is not an actual mustang engine you know we're about half a point of compression off from a mustang engine so there's several things at play um ken's obvious recommendation is we need to go and we need to put in new oxygen sensors and get it up to winger performance and have them you know tweak the tune Get the tune right the car does run really well when it's not doing its thing which isn't all the time it runs like a bat out of hell i mean it is a beast um but when it does do those things it's annoying and it doesn't run all that great so uh, again throttle bodies and o2 sensors because these are uh wideband oxygen sensors you know air fuel is critical in these engines and so if they're not acting right the engine's not gonna act right All right, guys, so quick sidebar. I haven't actually pulled the uh, JLT oil separator off. See what's in it, but you can see a pretty good bit of oil in there. Definitely must have Coyote mod, yes? It's every engine mod. Yeah. Let's see what this is. All that goes into your intake, and then it actually lowers the oxygen and the fuel as it's burning. It's pretty dirty, actually. But let me see. That's a pretty good bit of oil. Now, this probably got maybe five six hundred miles on yeah. it but guys uh drop a comment below if he doesn't drive his car enough true very true all right guys so that is what is up and as you can see yes i actually did clean it up a little bit shine it up it's been too long since i washed it got in here and kind of dusted off the engine bay a little bit and got some of the water spots out of here but and of course kind of got it figured out you know with the help of Ken and Dover. I'm gonna get this coyote figured out, dude. What's that stuff? What is that? It's a bag of Nice. Like a whiskey bottle, right? Sweet. Let's do shots, bro. I mean, you go first. <laughs> no, I'm good. All right, guys, so that is what is up. Uh, we're gonna get the old Fox body rolling because we got, dude, the track is open. to be tuned, man. I know. You need a tune for a track, too. Tune is coming. Um, new O2 sensors are coming and probably end up having to do the bottle. Yeah, them circuit codes are very common. Yeah. But cool thing is, Ken's done this so long, he can pretty much guess at what the problem is. But yes, pretty much. <laughs> yes. Man. Well, as far as an, ed an educated guess, but yeah, that's probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm thinking it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that is what is up. So we're gonna get that thing fixed, get some parts ordered, and all that. So the Coyote Fox will be right. But in the meantime, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, uh, smash that subscribe button and go build your beast. Later, y'all.